will be traveling chocolate bar salesmen. What are they selling? Chocolate! Chocolate! <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hey, the mail's here. What'd you get? Hey, a magazine. That's funny. I don't remember subscribing to Fancy Living Digest. Give me that. Stealing my mail, eh? You're lucky I don't report you to the authorities. Hey, Squidward, how do the people in that magazine get all that money? They're entrepreneurs. They sell things to people. Now keep your paws off my mail. That's it, Patrick. We gotta become entrepreneurs. Is that gonna hurt? Quick, Patrick, without thinking. If you could have anything in the world right now, what would it be? A chocolate bar? That's a great idea, Pat. We'll be traveling chocolate bar salesmen. Here we come! Good afternoon, sir. Could we interest you in some chocolate? Chocolate? Chocolate! 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 Okay, the first guy didn't count. This is our real first step. Good morning, sir. Would you like to buy some chocolate? Chocolate bars, eh? Yes, sir, we are chocolate bar salesmen. Well, no self-respecting candy bar salesman would be caught dead without one of these. Wow, what is it? It's a candy bar bag, you knucklehead. It's specially designed to cradle each candy bar in velvet-lined comfort. But <laughs> I'm wasting my time. You don't need these bags. We need them! We need them! Try next door. Yes? Huh? Say, weren't you the same guy who sold us these candy bar bags? I don't recall, but it looks to me like you fellows have got a lot of bags there. You two lady killers are too smart to be without one of my patented candy bar bag carrying bags. We'll take 20. I can't understand what we're doing wrong. There must be something to this selling game that we're just not getting. Other people do it. I mean, look at that. Eat barnacle chips. They're delicious. They are most certainly not delicious. Not the way I use them. Yet they sell millions of bags a day. Well, maybe if they didn't stretch the truth, they wouldn't sell as many. That's it, Patrick. We've got to stretch the truth. Chocolate! Yeah. Young lady, <laughs> we're selling chocolate. It's your mother home. Mom! What? What? What's all that yelling? You just can't wait for me to die, can you? They're selling chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah! What? What are they selling? Chocolate! What? Chocolate! I can't hear you! They're selling chocolate! They're selling chocolate? Yeah! Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. Oh, but this chocolate's not for eating. It's for... You rub it on your skin and it makes you live forever. <laughs> live forever, you say? I'll take one. Come on, you lazy Mary. Start rubbing me with that chocolate. I hate you. If we keep exaggerating the truth, we'll be fancy living in no time. Hooray for lying! They make you fly. You'll walk through walls. You'll rule the world! <laughs> what can I do for you boys? Hello, sir. Would you like to buy a chocolate bar? We need an operation. Really? Small world. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every morning I break my legs, and every afternoon I break my arms. At night, I lie awake in agony until my heart attacks put me to sleep. Oh, no! No! Yeah. Ow. Quick, Patrick, let's help him. Careful. Put him down gently. Oh! Poor, poor man. If there's anything, anything we can do to help you, 
There is one thing. As you can well imagine, my medical bills are extremely high. But luckily I'm able to keep myself alive by selling chocolate bars. Such nice boys. It does my heart good to con a couple of class A suckeroonies like those two. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, Patrick. It's great that we helped that guy out, but there's no one left in town to sell chocolate bars to. <gasps> Whoa! Let's change our names to Why and Bother. I've been trying to catch you boys all day! Now that I've got you right where I want you! I'd like to buy all your chocolate. Thank you for your patronage. Good evening, sir. Table for one, please. Sorry, but the whole restaurant has been rented to a private party. But it's my only night to be fancy. Oh, who could afford to rent out the whole restaurant? Oh, a couple of rich entrepreneurs and their dates. So, how long have you two ladies known each other? What? What did he say? What? What did he say?